Hello, 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 and praise the Lord. Okay, I am back, but this is now an update on this hair. I haven't got to answer all um, the questions in my inbox as of yet, but just something that I kind of skimmed through and saw through my phone, I'll try to answer. I did a video today on um, Don't Judge Me. Looks can be deceiving. I'm where I am today. I will not be tomorrow. And someone, I can't remember her name. I'm sorry. I, I kind of skimmed through my messages and she said, how do you get your hair to stay silky like that? Um, I didn't really do anything to this hair, unfortunately. Um, this is just how it came and it's holding up pretty well. This is, is this the second week? If you go back to when I put my hair in, I believe, is this two weeks? And this is um, my invisible part after two weeks, which is not bad. Um, I do it very close so that when it starts to grow out, it won't look humongously big when it grows out. So um, I don't put a lot of product on my hair, and I guess that's what allows it to keep it uh, movement now this hair was as I was telling you all this hair was very cheap this hair is called express hair and it was about um, I thought it was $9.99 but I got a discount um, it was like $14.99 for both packs but still very inexpensive but because I had a discount and a card at that beauty supply store I was able to get a discount and I had some monies or something with points is money or something on your card so I was able to you know get monies off like I said but this hair like I said was pretty yakky I would not I don't believe that I would get this hair any longer than 10 inches and do a bob with it I love it it's very pretty um, but as far as it getting it like a 12 inch or 14 inch now if I'm just getting a plain wrap this is good for those like wrapped looks or something like that um, you can try it but me I would not get this in 14 inch or 12 inch I love um, the colors oh I love them so much I might take it out and, and do a ball all over again I mean that's how much I love how this hair does you know with the bob um, it still has its movement and again I've only put and I'm sorry I have put product in it and it's only these two things right here to get ready to go I just reflat learned it but I've only put this silken polish um, elastic QP glaze silken mean polish um, but I put it on my hands because this is a full glue and weave an invisible part so I don't want to put too much oil on it so I do like three spritz and kind of do like that I have not done that today and um, I use this Garnier fruit tea styling um, full control anti-humidity hairspray so I've been using that once I get the bump that I want to hold that you know nice boof like like that and have it come down like blow and then I might finger my bangs a little funky way and then I'll take this and all over or whatever and it won't make it stiff but it will make you know that style hold like that but um i honestly just got in the shower today and you know with these points being longer they kind of got wet and i wanted them to get wet because with this on it it kind of caused it to be a little stiff so while i was washing i just put this part under the shower you know my little points 
and of course letting the shower run on my back it kind of wet just a little bit but that was fine and it just you know gave me back my movement so I don't put a whole lot of product in there and that uh, kept the longevity of I guess the it's only been two weeks but even still with this type of really cheap hair you just never know so I believe it was two weeks ago yes was it two weeks yeah if you go back to my video invisible part we bob no this is going on the third week I believe this is going on the third week is it? I don't know. Look, <laughs> but this is an update um, to or the, the beginning of the third week. And um, I'm just still loving this hair, still loving this bob. And like I said, I may, when this, you know, invisible part gets terrible, I will take it out and probably get some more of this hair because I'm loving it so much. And <laughs> do me a bob again because I am loving it. Um, it looks really dressed up without dressing up and it's I mean all I get do is get up in the morning and just take my flat arms blah 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 finger it really how I want it and go I mean that's pretty much all I do so I mean I'm really love loving it as you can see I can't keep my hands out of it but I love it and um, again I use the Roberts Diamond Bond mold if you go back to my videos on how I do my invisible part weave and how I prepare my hair um, I am a sweater in the back of my head but this Roberts Diamond Bond is awesome I have not had an issue with um, my hair sweating in the tracks loosening up they're still and they're pretty tight um, I showed you how to get you know that look around the edges of your hair gluing your hair in and making it last so it won't lift around the edges making sure you do not glue on your skin that you're gluing you know on your hair and so you can keep your little baby hairs and everything else but um I'm just you know loving it I'm trying to get, you know, if this is the th third week, um, I will definitely have it in past the month. I think this is probably the second week. It just feels like forever when I have a hairstyle. But I will try to make this go um, a month, most definitely. This will go a month. And if it's already been three weeks, then it'll go a month and a week. Um, and I'll probably do this again because I again like I said I'm loving it when I just want to be playing and just chilling I just be like blow if I want a little you know funk in it <laughs> I just take those fingers and it just takes it from one or if I want it really you know crazy wild I'll kind of rake the back going to the front and kind of poof and then have this coming down like blow or I'll kind of move my bangs over a little bit more like that or I'll just kind of have this more so flat and kind of just bring this over a little bit more or I could just take my flat irons and do my feather meaning I instead of more of a flat look I would really kind of curl it and make those feathers so probably um towards next week or something I'll do the curly a look with the feathers and I'll show you all um, me doing that to this hair but you know this is just an update uh, on my hair on this hair express hair which is a very cheap brand and again the colors um, I have four at the bottom and on the top half, it was called S for 27 and 30. But um, the invisible part um, down here is how the tracks 
you know, are big chunky streaks. And up the top is just how I cut. Um, how I cut it. I wanted a lot of blonde in the top. So I would cut in between the pieces of blonde and just do blonde, 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 then brown, then blonde, 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 brown, brown. So, you know, if you want to keep with that color scheme doing your invisible part, remember you're cutting the pieces. So wherever you want that color to go, you have to remember to, um, you know, to do that. But that's the review on this express hair. It is still holding up very good. It's not tangling in the back, of course, because it's cut up so much in the back. It's, you know, really not any friction to get on the back of my head. This is, the, in this style, I would sew this hair in um, and do the invisible part. Even if I didn't have the invisible part or had some black hair like this or whatever match and put my hair out on the front, this is the hair um, that I would sew in to have this short. Would I get it longer than 10 inch and a bob? No. I wouldn't. I think this hair again goes best with this. So again that's my review. <laughs> On this hair and um, I have never heard of it before in my life until I went into the beauty supply store and was like that color is the bomb. It doesn't look orangey. It really looks like my hair was you know, the color that I've always been trying to tell the hairdresser to, to take my hair. Or when I colored my hair um, a couple years ago. Um, it really looks like a real blonde and brown mix. It doesn't have that orangey look. It looks like real African American textured hair that has been colored in a very natural looking color. This light is looking a little yellow because I'm like kind of under my skylight in the kitchen. And as you see the chairs are up because I was preparing while I mopped the other day. Um, and came here and did hair so I got to mop again. But anyway, enough of the house cleaning. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review on Express hair and you can go back to my videos where I actually I think I showed the pack that I used um, I think I put the pack up to the screen so that you could see and I got it from my local beauty supply store I do not know where you could order it from or get it from or whatever like that but um when I take this out I, I think I'm definitely going to do this again because I'm feeling this hair with this bob okay all right be blessed